Behind the ruthless leaders of drug cartels, there are women who have left an indelible mark on the history of narcotics. However, it is important to remember that their beauty goes beyond physical appearance. In today's video, we will explore the fascinating stories of these women, highlighting their achievements, challenges, and the controversial roles they played in the world of drug trafficking. Maine de la Cruz Over the years, many beauty queens have caught the attention of some of the world's most powerful and feared drug traffickers. A clear example of this situation occurred with Maine de la Cruz, who was arrested in August 2019 in an operation carried out in San Luis Potosi while she was in the company of her boyfriend, Edgar Herrera Pardo, known as El Caiman. Both were arrested by the Mexican police due to their close relationship with Nemesio Oseguera Cervantes, also known as El Mencho, the leader of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, CJNG. Additionally, Maine de la Cruz and El Caiman were accused of various drug-related crimes. Maine de la Cruz rose to fame in 2016 after being crowned as a beauty queen by winning a bikini contest organized at the Caliente Casino in Tijuana. During her audition for the contest, Maine revealed having completed high school and mentioned several of her hobbies. The future model mentioned enjoying watching football, dancing, listening to music, and playing with her pets in her free time. However, after this contest, the Mexican model met El Caman and became involved in the world of organized crime by entering into a romantic relationship with a member of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel. Maine de la Cruz began a romantic relationship with Herrera Pardo, who was the head of the Tijuana Plaza for the criminal organization led by El Mencho, and shortly after, she became directly involved in her partner's illicit activities. In 2019, Authorities arrested the couple during an operation after locating Maine de la Cruz in the city of Querétaro and intercepting them at the bus terminal, where they were finally captured and brought to justice. After their arrest, Maine de la Cruz and Edgar Herrera Pardo, alias El Caiman, were taken by the Mexican police to separate prisons for women and men, respectively. The couple, directly involved in the illicit activities of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, was imprisoned and sentenced to prison time for the multiple crimes they were accused of. 2. Angie San Clemente Valencia Angie San Clemente Valencia, born on May 25, 1979, in Barranquilla, Colombia, is a controversial figure whose story intertwines glamour, beauty, and scandal. San Clemente began her career in the entertainment world as a lingerie model and beauty queen. In 2000, she won the Senorita Piel Dorada contest in Colombia, but was dethroned two days later when it was discovered that she was married, violating the pageant rules. However, her beauty led her to participate in other contests, including the International Coffee Queen pageant, without winning the main crown. In 2010, San Clemente's life took a drastic turn. She was arrested in Buenos Aires, Argentina, accused of being the leader of an international cocaine trafficking network. Authorities dubbed her the Narco Model, and the international press compared her to Miss Narco and Narco Barbie. The accusation was based on the suspicion that San Clemente used her modeling agency as a front to recruit mules who transported cocaine to Europe. The evidence included phone wiretaps and suspicious bank transfer records. San Clemente spent three years in prison in Argentina, maintaining her innocence. In 2013, she was sentenced to six years and eight months in prison but was released on parole two years later due to good behavior. After her release, San Clemente returned to Colombia and tried to rebuild her life. She wrote a book about her prison experience, Cambio Radical, and participated in television programs, even launching a sportswear line. I'll pause briefly to remind you that if you're enjoying the video, subscribe to help this community grow even more. Now, let's continue. Three. Lucha Villa, one of the most important singers in Mexican music, was romantically linked to Ernesto Fonseca Carrillo, alias Don Neto, one of the founders of the Guadalajara Cartel. This relationship was revealed by journalist Annabel Hernandez in her book, Emma and the Other Narco Ladies, published in 2019. According to Hernandez, Villa met Fonseca in 1980 when she was 48 and he was 52. The encounter took place in a restaurant in Guadalajara, 
where Fonseca introduced himself as a businessman. The relationship between Villa and Fonseca lasted a few months. During that time, Fonseca gave Villa luxurious gifts such as jewelry, clothing, and cars. He also invited her to travel on his private plane. This relationship was revealed by journalist Annabel Hernandez in her book, Emma and the Other Narco Ladies, published in 2019. According to Hernandez, Villa met Fonseca in 1980 when she was 48, and he was 52. The encounter took place in a restaurant in Guadalajara, where Fonseca introduced himself as a businessman. The relationship between Villa and Fonseca lasted a few months. During that time, Fonseca gave Villa luxurious gifts such as jewelry, clothing, and cars. He also invited her to travel on his private plane. The relationship ended in 1981 when Fonseca was arrested by Mexican authorities. Villa has neither confirmed nor denied this relationship. In an interview with the Venteniando program in 2020, Villa said she doesn't regret knowing Fonseca. He was a very important person in my life, she said. He taught me many things. However, Villa also said she felt used by Fonseca. He only wanted me for his own benefit, she said. He never truly loved me. 4. Laura Elena Zuniga Laura Elena Zuniga Huizar was born on January 3, 1985, in Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico. She came from a humble family dedicated to selling regional Mexican music records. From a young age, Laura showed interest in the world of modeling and beauty. At the age of 18, she participated in the Nuestra Beleza Sinaloa 2007 pageant, where she became the first runner-up. The following year she participated again, and this time was crowned the winner. As Nuestra Beleza Sinaloa, Laura earned the right to participate in the National Nuestra Beleza Mexico 2008 pageant, held in Monterrey, Nuevo León. In this competition, Laura was named the substitute, but still earned the right to represent Mexico in the Miss International 2009 pageant, held in Tokyo, Japan. Laura traveled to Tokyo in November 2008 to prepare for the competition. However, her participation never materialized. On December 22nd of the same year, Laura was arrested in Jalisco, Mexico, along with her boyfriend, Angel Orlando Garcia Urquiza, and seven other men. During the arrest, the police found firearms, ammunition, and cash. Laura and her boyfriend were accused of organized crime and possession of firearms. Laura stated to authorities that she had been kidnapped by her boyfriend and had no knowledge of the criminal activities he was involved in. However, the prosecution did not believe her and accused her of being an accomplice to her boyfriend. Laura was sentenced to one year in prison. In January 2010, she was released on parole. After her release, Laura withdrew from the world of modeling and beauty. She moved to Culiacan and focused on her family. In 2014, Laura published an autobiographical book titled Mi Verdad, My Truth. In this book, she recounts her story and her version of the events that led to her arrest. 5. Liliana Lozano Liliana Lozano was a Colombian actress and beauty queen who became involved in a tragedy related to the world of drug trafficking. She was born on July 30, 1979, in Medellin, Colombia, and stood out in the entertainment world as an actress in various television and film productions. In January 2009, Liliana Lozano and her partner, Hector Fabio Vargas, were found dead on a farm in El Territo, Valle del Cauca, Colombia. Both bodies were partially naked, bound hand and foot, and had gunshot wounds. The discovery of their bodies shocked Colombian society and caused a major scandal at that time. Liliana Lozano's connection to the world of drug trafficking is related to her partner, Hector Fabio Vargas, who was the brother of Leonidas Vargas, a notorious Colombian drug trafficker. Leonidas Vargas, alias El Viejo, was one of the leaders of the drug trafficking organization known as Los Rastrojos. While Liliana Lozano did not have direct involvement in activities related to drug trafficking, her relationship with Hector Fabio Vargas and his family connected her name to the world of organized crime and the violence surrounding it. And that concludes today's video. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss more videos like these. We'll see you in the next one.